Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, it is currently six, ah, 6.31 a.m. and I haven't left for work yet, which is the time I'm supposed to leave, which is, um, 6.30 is the time I'm supposed to leave for work. So I'm running a little bit late, but when I start walking, I'll hit y'all back. I gotta pack my bag for work. See you in a sec. Guys, so I'm on my way out for the morning. <laughs> it's nice outside. The sun's not fully out yet. I usually like being at work by 6.45, but I was running late this morning because I was like, maybe I should try exercising. So, <laughs> That made me kind of late, because I, I kind of have to wake up earlier if I want to do that, you know? Um, which is something I want to do. So, but I already wake up, like, five to get to work on time. So, <laughs> I don't know how much earlier I have to wake up, but I don't want to do it. I just want to stay in bed for a little bit longer. But, is there any cars coming? No. Okay, but yeah, so I'm walking to work now and I'll hit you guys when I get there because walking and recording is extremely unsafe. Even though there's not really much car activity like this early in the morning, but whatever. See y'all in a bit. Okay guys, I finally made it to the lab. It's 7.02, um, so I'm like kind of on time, kind of late. I usually like getting here around 6.45. But um, right now, I'm just gonna go get some water. I was bringing my water bottle empty because carrying it in my bag, it gets so heavy. I'm gonna get water and then I'll hit y'all back. Okay, so before I start working, I'm just gonna sit here for a sec and drink some water. I usually like to get half a bottle. Like, I usually like to drink half a bottle in the morning before I start work. Tie my hair up while I'm at it because it's not gonna lie, protocol to have your hair down. So, as a disclaimer, <clears throat> I can't really record much of anything. Like, I'll give you guys a glimpse of what I might do in the lab, but for privacy reasons and like basic lab protocol, I can't do much recording in the lab because we have a lot of samples and sample um labels that need to be protected so i'll give you guys what i can and yeah the rest you you'll have to make up with your imagination but i will tell you usually what i do in the lab but i'm gonna drink the rest of my water and then i'll hit you guys back after i finish my work which takes like about an hour and a half two hours so yeah right now it's 705 so i'll hit you guys back when i'm done okay Bye, see you in a bit. Okay y'all, it's 8.30 and I'm finished counting my cells. Yes, that's what I was doing. And I'll explain that in a bit. But um, it only took me an hour and 15 because I started at like seven. I started at seven, so it took me an hour and a half, which is good because that means my time is like going down and ran, like, in the past few days, I've been like narrowing it down for like two hours to an hour and a half, so that's really good. As you can see, I'm not in the cell culture room, where is where I count the cells. I'm just in the lab at the lab edge, um, and I'm in a tank top right now, so I'm gonna put on my lab coat and I'll get back to y'all in a sec. Okay, guys. So really, this is editor me speaking, um, and I decided to do a voiceover because. When I was recording, I didn't realize that the air vent was so loud, so here is my voiceover. Um, so basically, I'm just explaining like the importance of wearing a lab coat for lab safety because I was wearing a tank top, and usually you wear one when you know you have skin exposed or anything would be like exposed to chemicals or anything. I mean, I don't really work with chemicals sometimes, but yeah. And now I'm talking about like gloves and the importance of wearing those when working with organic compounds. Um, so yeah, I don't know exactly what I was saying here, but yeah, look at me putting on my gloves. 
Oh, I grabbed the extra one. Y'all, I talk a lot, so I have no idea what I was saying. Okay, so I just grabbed a tool holder. That's that yellow thingy with the holes. And then I was grabbing a plastic tube. And really what I'm doing here is um, labeling it with D for a dummy sample because I can't actually work with any samples because that will be violating the code of the lab. And, um, and yeah, so what am I doing now? Okay, I'm getting a pipetter. That's called a micro pipetter, guys, that purple thing that I'm holding. Oh, and then I'm looking for the pipette tips, which goes at the end, but I'm not finding the ones I want. So I go into the drawer and yeah. This is what I will show you guys. Oh, one day of the week, this is what I spent my time doing. I We would have a bunch of empty boxes and I fill them with these tips and then I autoclave them. And so what autoclaving means is just, I'm taking a bunch of equipment. I'm taking a bunch of equipment and then I'm sterilizing it. And usually it's like bottles of water, it's pipettes, pipette tips, I mean, and um, pasture pipettes. So yeah. Um, so right now I'm just gonna um, fill this dummy sample tube with water to make it look like I'm actually doing something in the lab. I'm finished for the day, by the way. Like, cell counting was the only reason I'm in. This is actually Sunday, and I'm not usually done on Sundays. So, yeah. Oh, that's what I meant to get. I meant to get the pipette tips. Oh, bye. So, yeah. So with autoclaving, I basically, I autoclave once a week, usually on Wednesdays, and I would fill all of these tips, and then I'd put them into this big, huge machine, and what it does is it gets to like about 240 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very, very hot, so that I could sterilize a bunch of these, and I like put that at a very high heat and then I allow it to cool and usually the tape it has like these black lines when it's sterilized so that's what I just took off the tape that showed that it was sterilized so I'm opening them now what am I doing okay now my brain is so scattered because I'm not actually doing anything I'm not following any kind of sort of protocol I'm just putting water into these tubes and that's it that's all i can show you guys um but i can tell you a lot about what i did um, so this is water thumbnail okay yeah I just threw that out because it, it's nothing it's just water um yeah so I just showed you a little bit of what I do every day. Literally, the water is just me pipetting things into little tubes, which are usually samples. Um, and it depends on what protocol I'm doing. So on a day on a day to day basis, I, um, I would do DNA isolation. And then I would go to the nano drop, which is this machine, and you put two microliters, which is like very, very small. It's like a little drop. And then I read the absorbency. And then I would do calculations and then run a PCR, which stands for polymerase chain reaction. And that's this whole process that goes about heating and denaturing the DNA. Um, and then I would run a gel. And that's usually what I do repeatedly with samples so it's like a whole process and once i run the gel i can analyze it see if i if the um the gel electrophoresis detected any dna and then i would 
um, take down my data and then in the end of doing all of that, working with all the samples, I would make a chart and analyze the data. So, yeah. So I do. Um, so I would do that Monday through Thursday. No, Monday through Friday. And then usually on Wednesdays, I do auto paving. And then on Thursdays, I would, um, I would do inventory and I would check to see how many bottles of isopropyl alcohol there are, how many bo um, boxes of 275 flasks, um, how many tubes of penicillin streptomycin, um, how many um, trips in bottles there are, if there's any pyruvate, if there's high glucose, low glucose, um, if there's any selection media, how many 50 mill milliliter conicals, how many 15 milliliter conicals. Um, how many boxes of 1.5 milliliter tubes, which are just which are just these, which is what I was pipetting water into. And yeah, that's basically like my day-to-day -day at the lab. So um, anyways, I'm about to go. I'm about to leave the lab because I only came in to do cell counting. Oh, so let me explain the cell counting. So I've been doing cell counting recently. And really, this is not a good depiction of my everyday um, life in the lab because recently I've been coming in at 7 a.m. to count cells, which is usually like what is not usually what I do. And so cell counting is basically you get a bunch of cells on um, on this plate with different wells, and I count them consistently for seven days at 7 a.m. at the same time, and um, and. I basically, so the cells are all on the bottom of the plate, and to get them up, I soak them in different solutions for a different amount of times, and then um, I put them onto this plate that goes under a microscope, and it has a, like um, four grids for each sample, and then I count the amount of cells by the grids, and then I do calculations in the end and multiply it by a certain number to get a semi-accurate read of how many cells there are detected for that sample so yeah it's kind of complicated but like once you get like used to the protocol it gets really really easy see i've cut my time down from like two hours to like one and a half so yeah but anyways i'm gonna leave the lab and i'll see you guys in a bit pretty this view is look at it it's so pretty oh my gosh wow hey y'all so i had just walked to the hardware store because i needed um copies of keys made and let me tell you guys they whoops my fingers all in the camera let me tell you guys they were so cute like the copies i have made of the leopard print and then i have like the thunder oh they're so cute i can't i just love cute things but yeah anyways 
Anyways, I'm just walking home now, and it's like a 40 plus minute walk. So I'm gonna call my mom so that the walk feels like shorter. But anyways, I'll hit y'all back when I get back to the apartment. So, see y'all. Okay guys, I just got back um, and I'm like so tired. Let me tell y'all. So after I left, I went to Starbucks and they gave me like the wrong order. And I was just like, ugh. Like they didn't give me the right sandwich. It was the right person. Like it was for me and everything. They just didn't give me the right sandwich. So I'm like, uh, uh I'm not gonna like accept this because I didn't want that, like you know. So I went back, and um, and I asked for like my sandwich. So that took like another five minutes, and then I ate, and then I went to um, I I was like, you know what? I don't want to go back to the apartment right now because it's like so early. What time is it now? It is 11.51. Like, it's it's almost noon now, and I'm back. And so I decided to go to this hardware store because I needed to make copy of keys for my apartment. So, um, so I went and I made copies of keys. Look how cute they are. And I got the bottle openers and stuff. You already know. But, yeah. So the first one that I was planning on going to, as soon as I get there... It, I see a sign on the door and it says, sorry, we're closed on Sundays. Y'all, it's literally Sunday. And I'm like, oh, Google Maps lied to me. So then I saw, like, I looked back on the Google Maps and I saw this other hardware store that was, like, 15 minutes away from that one. Mind you, all of this is, like, 20, 30 minute walk away from the lab because I had to cross the bridge to get, like... To the first hardware and then the second one was um like a 15 minute walk away from the first hardware that i went to and then the second one it was really nice um and he made me copies of the keys and they're good copies like they're done the right way i just tried all of them on the door but yeah after that i walked back i ended up getting a strawberry no yeah, it was like a strawberry pineapple or something type of lemonade from Wawa and a um and a hoagie because like I feel like I'm gonna get hungry later and I don't feel like going outside. But yeah, so yeah, and then I walked back to my apartment and I walked about four miles today. Um, so I'm already like I'm already done for the day. I'm tired and yeah, but. I think I'm about to go chill, do some editing, watch some NCIS, watch some of my favorite YouTubers, and then I'll probably crash. And then I'll probably wake up and eat. Or I'll eat and then I'll crash. I don't know. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video for today. Um, and make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for my next post, which will also be coming very, very soon. Um... So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.